Hey guys, welcome to Living in New Hampshire. My name's Cody and I'm a local real estate agent with EXP. In today's video, we're gonna talk about moving from California to New Hampshire. It's tough to argue that California has the best weather in the country, while New England has the polar opposite. So what's the point of comparing both states? Weather aside, both California and New Hampshire have a similar landscape. Both have beautiful coastlines, large mountains, and access to major cities. You can almost think of New Hampshire as a smaller, less populated version of California. While in theory it sounds good, there needs to be a strong enough motive to justify leaving the Golden State for the snowy East Coast. Let's dive into some of the reasons that making the move could save you a lot of money, maybe even enough to buy a second winter home in a warmer climate. We'll start off with the obvious one and that's taxes. State income taxes in California vary depending on the amount of income you earn. However, those making over $48,436 per year pay 8%, all the way up to 12.3% for those making over $625,370. While New Hampshire has no state income tax, keep in mind they do have a 5% tax on income from dividends and interest. Now the next one might not affect everyone to the same degree, however it's nice to know that New Hampshire won't be making you pay taxes every time you go shopping in a store. Anyone who's ever visited a state with sales tax knows the feeling when you look at your receipt and forget you're no longer in New Hampshire. While California isn't the highest in the country, their sales tax rate of 7.25% isn't a number to overlook. Before we get into housing, let's address the elephant in the room. It's true that New Hampshire has high property taxes, but based on the home prices in California, you'll likely pay a lot more each year for a standard single family home. Since the property tax rate varies depending on the town or city you live in, it's difficult to give one number. However, the average effective property tax rate in New Hampshire is 2.05% compared to the statewide property tax rate in California of 1%. For example, if you owned a home in Manchester with an assessed value of $300,000, you'd pay roughly $5,300 per year in property taxes, whereas the same home in California would be $3,000. But let's be honest, purchasing a $500,000 home in New Hampshire is much different from one in California. While that might get you a condo in Glendale, in Manchester you could purchase a nice nice three bed, two bath home with a garage and a large fenced in yard. That's because the median home price in New Hampshire is $396,000, whereas in California it's almost $730,000. We won't go too in depth with jobs in this video since many people are working remotely nowadays. However, for those that are still commuting, it's important to consider travel time. According to data, the average commute time in New Hampshire is 27.3 minutes, whereas in California it's 29.3. For anyone that's been to California, you know that number is almost impossible to achieve, especially if you're traveling during rush hour. For the most part, unless you're commuting to Boston, the traffic in New Hampshire is extremely light. This makes it very easy to plan your day since getting from point A to point B is a breeze. With less cars on the road and significantly less people, New Hampshire and much of New England continually have the best air quality in the country. According to usnews.com, when it comes to healthcare, California ranks slightly higher than New Hampshire despite having 2% more of their population without health insurance. It's also not surprising that their obesity rate is 5 5.6 times lower than New Hampshire since residents can enjoy outdoor activities year round. The last cost to compare is groceries. Whether you're shopping for yourself or an entire family, it's important to take into account all aspects of living in a particular place. According to bestplaces.net, California ranks as a 105.1 compared to the US average of 100. Surprisingly, New Hampshire ranks slightly higher at 107. However, in reality, it comes down to your personal eating habits and the type of food you purchase on a regular basis. And that wraps up the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. And as always, if you're thinking about moving to New Hampshire or you just have any questions, I'll leave my contact info in the description below. Thanks for watching.